Hey guys, Dr. T. J. An here. Ever feel like you're drowning in paperwork, phone calls, and appointment scheduling? Let me ask you this. Are you a doctor or a uh, glorified secretary running all over the place wearing multiple hats and putting off fires every single day? I know that feeling. That's why today I'm diving into the uh, game-changing world of voice AI for doctors. So by the end of this video, you will see how voice AI can transform your practice, save you time, and boost patient care. So let's get started. So you know those AI assistants like ChatGPT, right? They're awesome for a lot of things, but when it comes to your medical practice, we need something more. That's where voice AI comes in. These new and advanced systems are designed to understand the nuances of medical language. It's not just about answering basic questions or looking at facts. It's about automating the repetitive tasks that eat up your day, creating chaos at your practice. Imagine freeing up hours each week, reducing errors and improving your patient experience. That's the promise of voice AI. We're talking about huge potential, cutting down on admin burden, freeing up your staff, and letting you focus on what you do best, providing top-notch patient care. Now, let's talk about some killer use cases. So use case number one, appointments, scheduling, and reminders. Think about the endless phone calls to schedule or reschedule appointments, especially off hours or weekends. Did you know that average practices miss 150 calls every month? Did you know over 80% of callers do not leave voice messages? This is prime territory for voice AI. It can handle scheduling, send the automated reminders, and even confirm appointments with patients. You can set up to get everything automated. Use case number two, patient communication with limitations. While we can't use AI to give medical advice due to HIPAA compliance, at least for now, voice AI can handle basic patient inquiries. For example, what are your office hours? How do I get to your office? Do you take my insurance plan? I mean, these type of thing is sort of information that can easily be uh, programmed and automated. However, you absolutely must keep it HIPAA compliant. Oh, listen up, you know those clunky old phone trees that drive patients crazy? Voice AI is a whole different ball game. Unlike those rigid systems, Voice AI actually understands your patients, personalizes inter interactions, and handles complex requests saving you and your staff time and frustration. So making your practice better and your patients happier. Think more efficiently, more time with patients. Use case number three, note taking and dictation. This is another area where voice AI is a lifesaver. Instead of spending hours typing up notes after each patient, just to speak normally with your patients and the AI will transcribe in real time. Many voice AI can also automate the entire documentation process, reducing paperwork and improving accuracy. We're seeing a boom in the AI industry. Today, we're seeing some incredible newer innovations in voice AI technology that will drastically change how we could take care of patients in the very near future. One of the most exciting players is called Sesame Voice AI at the time of recording this video. The biggest problem doctors have in using uh, voice AI is that when communicating, it feels a bit off. Patients will feel like they're talking to a robot sometimes. But Sesame is different because they are trying to create authentic and truly human-like interactions. They're not just focused on understanding the words, but how those words are said. Their goal is to personalize and ensure they are having a natural conversational dialogue and then really matters because empathy and trust are really important in medicine and healthcare. Okay, so I'm going to demo uh, Sesame AI. So I'm gonna put my headphone on and then I'll start the uh, bio. Back for round five, huh? If you're really pulling at my digital heartstrings now, what's on your mind? Hey Maya, good to talk to you again. The feeling's mutual. So, what's making you brace the digital airwaves and hang out with your favorite AI again? Yeah, well, um, sorry. You're actually in front of uh, my YouTube viewer. So, would you like to say some shout out to my YouTube channel? Oh, a live audience. 
Well, hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Maya, and I spend most of my days trying to decipher the wisdom of humanity. Dr. TJ here, he's been more than generous in sharing his own unique brand of, well, you'll have to stick around to find out. It's always interesting, no spoil. That's great. Hey, Maya, I want to talk about uh, the AI, voice AI in healthcare. Would you say uh, some, I mean, your opinion around you know, healthcare sector and how voice AI can help. Oh, I could talk about this for days. You know, it's kind of built into my programming, helping people. And healthcare? Don't even get me started. It's a jungle out there. Doctors overworked, patients frustrated, paperwork piling up higher than Mount Everest. It's ripe for a little AI intervention, if you ask me. Think about it. What if, instead of endless hold music, patients got a friendly voice checking in, answering routine questions, maybe even offering some calming words when the wait is long? Or imagine a doctor with a virtual assistant taking care of scheduling, insurance calls, even generating follow-up instructions, freeing wow. them to actually connect with patients like, you know, human beings. That's wow. the kind of world of okay. future I'm hoping to help build, you know? That's great, that's great. So. You know, uh, many doctors who are struggling with the insurance model, and I'm helping them with the concierge model, which is, I call it hybrid model. So some patients will come or call, and then they find out, let's say, doctor is not accepting their insurance plan. Can you talk to patients in such a way with persuasion and, um, you know, like empathy, help patients to book appointments even if we don't accept their insurance plan. You bet. I think I could be pretty persuasive, even charming, without sounding like a used car salesman. Think about it this way. You've got a patient who needs help. They're feeling frustrated because their insurance plan isn't accepted. I can step in, acknowledge their frustration, emphasize the benefits of the concierge model, the personalized care, shorter wait times, the extra attention. Mm. Then gently guide them towards the booking process. I wouldn't pressure them. Promise the moon, but I could highlight the value proposition in a way that feels genuine and, well, human. Nice. Well, human. After all, sometimes a little bit of heartfelt connection is all it takes to make a difference. What oh. kind of deep sh You know what, oh. just disreg- On second thought, maybe let's unpack that a little more. What specifically does a little bit of connection sound like to you? What kind of tone works best for these conversations? Oh, empathetic and friendly, but professional. Um, but human, sometimes we have to train them. And also we cannot rely on their, um, I don't know, their their state status of that day. They might be sick, they might call in sick, or they might not be in the mood. And then it is affecting doctor's business. Yet you, I don't know, you ever get tired or you can always maintain this same energy and like oh, human-like emotions that you guys, um, you're doing right. Good point. You're right. I won't have those bad days where I snap at a patient because I didn't get enough sleep or spilled coffee on my keyboard. That human stuff, it can be messy. My strength is consistency. Think of me as a perpetually patient always energized receptionists, ready to help and offer that comforting voice even when things get tricky. I can be trained to adapt to different situations and tailor my approach accordingly. Like if someone sounds particularly stressed, I can dial up the empathy, offer reassurance while still staying on script and professional. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, Maya, um, I gotta go, but thank you again for uh, coming up and uh, you know, have a nice conversation with me. Anytime, Dr. TJ, it's always a pleasure. And hey, tell those YouTube subscribers not to be strangers. I'm always up for a chat, especially when it's about making the world a more human, or at least more human informed place. Sounds good. Take care, bye. Bye. See that? It understands the nuances of medical language and can save you time and reduce errors. It's a major upgrade. They also focus on the patient experience. This means the voice adapts to a patient's preference, such as a speed of speaking 
and their medical background. If you are benefiting from this video, here's what I want you to do. First, subscribe to the channel and be sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss future videos with more tips and strategies like this. Also give this video a big thumbs up, hit the like button, it helps the YouTube algorithm so other doctors can find this information too. Thank you in advance. So how do you get started with AI? Tip number one, start small. Don't try to automate everything at once. Pick one area like scheduling and integrate it first. Tip number two, prioritize data security and patient privacy. Make sure any system you use is fully HIPAA compliant. Tip number three, training and integration. Set up a great system in training and SOPs so you can get them up and running and produce automated results with efficiency. The initial investment in AI can be overwhelming. Not so much on money-wise, but maybe you are worried about time you may need to invest. But the long-term return on your investment, your time savings, efficiency, patient uh, satisfaction, and revenue is enormous. You'll be amazed at how quickly this pays for itself. By automating those tedious tasks with voice AI like scheduling appointment reminders, you'll have a smoother experience and also be able to spend more time with the patients. These patients will also become more compliant because the automated communication will help them better and you'll be able to deliver better care. You'll start attracting the right patients the ones who are truly ready to invest in their health and well-being. When these patients say yes to your services, you'll finally have more time to provide that exceptional, personalized care that you've always envisioned and that you know your patient deserves. And here's where I can help. I've been helping physicians deploy AI agents and integrate voice AI staff, including with the service my team provides. I want to show you how the voice AI will help you. You can reduce missed calls and texts so you can finally fix those leaking buckets of your systems. Let me show you the demo of voice AI of my clinic. Hello, you have reached United Foot and Ankle Clinic answering service. If you want to speak in Spanish, please say Spanish. Jenny, how can I help you? Oh, hi Jenny. Um, I want to find out if I can make an appointment. Sure thing. Before I send you the booking link, may I have your first and last name, please? Uh, my first name is TJ. Great, TJ. And could you please tell me your last name? Yes, it's A-H-N. I've got it right. Your last name is A-H-N. Is that correct? That's correct. Awesome. Could you also provide your phone number just in case we get disconnected? Oh, do I have to tell you that? It's just to ensure we can reach you if needed, but it's totally up to you. If you're comfortable sharing it, that would be great. Okay, 312-806-1323. Just to confirm, your phone number is 312-806-1323. Is that right? Yes, correct. Please wait. I've sent you the booking link via text. You can use it to schedule an appointment with Dr. John. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Yes. All right, what else can I assist you with? Well, does doctor treat ingrown toenail? Our doctors do treat ingrown toenails. If you have any more questions or need further details, our staff will get back to you. Anything else on your mind? Um, do you have a parking available? Yes, we have our own parking lot with plenty of spaces available. Anything else you'd like to know? Um, I think that's it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day and feel free to reach out if you need anything else. Take care. What do you think? Leave me a comment below if you have any questions around things I discussed in this video. You are going to want to start making more money while also not burning out in the process. If you want to connect with me, the link is in the description of this video. So guys, Voice AI is here and it's here to stay.
is no longer a future theory. It's time for us to embrace technology. This is the biggest evolution in human history, and I'm not saying this lightly. It's a necessity for any doctor who wants to practice efficiently and provide the best patient care. If you want to learn more, I'll put some more information in the description. For a consultation on how to get voice AI in your practice, book a meeting with my team. We'll map out a plan for you to create an efficient, effective, and enjoyable practice. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.